so is there some area of your life where you've been just like longing for some more peace? What energy do you think you are bringing into that space? Is there a way that you could actually set the tone in that space? I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and our topic is a good one today. It's a quote by one of my faves, Wayne Dyer, and it is, you must offer peace to have it. So how can offering peace and grace help a situation? Well, it can change the energy. Everybody's toxic? Well, then you just show up being peaceful and try and spread that energy. Number two, it can provide an opportunity for others. They're like, oh, wait, I'm kind of being snarky and rude and yucky and toxic, but Sage seems like she's pretty okay. Maybe I need to check myself, right? Be the inspiration, be the motivation. Number three, it gives you peace. Either way, you can know in your heart, right? You offer peace and it gives you peace and others might not receive it, that's on them. That's on them. Don't worry about this little bubble right here. So here's a couple quotes. Peace is not something you wish for. It is something you make, something you are, something you do, and something you give away. Robert Fogum. God, that's a good quote. Now when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Jimi Hendrix. So where could you use more peace in your life? And how could you start pouring more peace into that area? Ooh, let's talk about peace. I got five for you today. Okay, number one, choose your energy. What are you bringing to the space. Number two, choose to notice and empathize. Maybe this person is toxic over here because everything is going wrong in their household right now. Maybe they just lost a loved one over here. So like notice and just ask and listen and try and try and be there. Maybe that's all it takes. Number three, say kind things. We think kind things up here all the time about others. We're like, oh boy, that was really cool that she did that. Oh, that was super nice. Oh, I really appreciate that. But then we just like, no, we just like keep it inside and we don't say that stuff. Say it. It might be the exact thing that that person needs so that they can feel more peaceful. And number four, smile. Laugh, hug. Cheer people on, do whatever you can. It's just like loving and peaceful. Five, radiate gratitude. Ooh, there is not enough of this in this world, people. I'm grateful for you. I'm so grateful for your friendship. I am so grateful for your loyalty. I am so grateful for your hard work. I am so grateful for the peace you bring to my space. Show gratitude. So circling around, you must offer peace to have it, Wayne Dyer. So which of the five ways, five ways can you start using today to have more peace in your life? Because I wish that for you. I want that for you. Thank you for growing with me. Again, I'm Sage. I'm a growth coach. You can follow me at Growing Sage. You can book a session on growingsagejourney.com. And please share my YouTube with your friends. And that Sage Robinson Miller, uh, Growing Sage, there are hundreds of videos on there and that you can find what resonates with you and just get a little, you know, little coach up for today. I really appreciate you. Thanks for growing with me. Love you.